JT, uh, start with you. Just your thoughts on the <coughs> overall team performance tonight, especially from the second period on when you guys really started to drive play. Yeah, I thought about uh, halfway through the first, we kind of got our legs and started to dictate play. And uh, it was nice to see us put together a second period at home here. It feels like uh, it's kind of been a hard period for us this year. So I thought from that point on, we stuck to it. And, you know, that was a, a second period where I thought we could have got more. And I thought that we basically came right back out in the third and did the same thing. So it felt nice to, you know, be patient, I guess, and get rewarded. How did you see the game winning goal develop? Um, I was kind of open for a split second early. I'm kind of glad that Lenny didn't force it there because McDavid was ready to go the other way. And it's one of the ones where we got a nice bounce. You know, he went to the feet, he went to the net. I think it hit him in the foot or something and off the post. And I, I think I got a little lucky there. That puck was kind of all over the place. So it's just nice to get rewarded at the end of the game. What did it mean to you? I mean, two nights ago, you were pretty hard on yourself. Uh, Rick said that you sent him a text apologizing for how you played. And then to have such an important role here, what did that mean to just turn that around? Well, I have faith in myself. I mean, I speak honestly with you guys, whether it's good or bad. And um, didn't really just like my game the other night, you know, at the end of the day. And I thought that kind of transitioned into me and the reason we got scored on late in the game. So, I mean, you know, I uh, was honestly evaluating myself. And then, you know, yesterday and today, I was just that focused and just thought as a team, we all played, you know, played a solid hockey game today. Petey, for you, um, I know that uh, you got an opportunity to play with, with Lindholm and, and Hogsman being a bit more of an offensive role, and the crowd was trying to spur you on all night. What did that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. Um, always encouraging to have a defense behind you. Or I always have that here, but uh, I used to hear them chant my name, and uh, yeah, it just makes me want to work yeah, even harder for them. Petey, you played with that line a little bit in the regular season to get back. How important was it? knowing that you've played with them before and were able to kind of step into this game and know that you had some chemistry already developed? Uh, yeah, uh, played a few games during the season. Uh, we have game chemistry. Uh, we just talked about working hard, uh, have good cycles, don't turn over the puck, and I thought we had a really good game line. We could have scored some goals, but, um, yeah, step in, the, step in the right direction. JT, for you, you guys had some long offensive zone possessions, but you guys were also able to, when they did clear the puck, it felt like you didn't even give them center. Like, you guys were able to get right back in. What was it about your guys' ability to just maintain in the offensive zone tonight? Well, I just, you know, without being disrespectful, I finally, like, the last couple of games, you know, me, Brock, and Suits have been kind of giving Connor a little too much respect. Like, you're playing, like, not to get scored on a little bit, and when you do that, he just gets more time with the puck, you know, so... I thought we kind of just went back to playing our game and being more aggressive. And whenever there is a situation where it's time to be above him, we'll worry about it when it happens. But I thought maybe we just were a little more aggressive today and we're able to extend some of his own time. And like you said, I think we did a good job in the second of we didn't cross our, our red line very often when they got it out. I mean, that's how you get the momentum and, the, and it's what you want to do to teams. You want to shrink the ice on them, right? And I thought we were able to do that. And Elias over here, it seemed like you guys had clicked in on your breakouts again. What was the key to making them work tonight? Um, power play or yes? Just in general. Yeah. Um, yeah, we talked about it just to be more clean with the puck, uh, not to feed our turnovers. Um, and I thought we did a good job with that today. And then JT, on the goal to sort of time yourself to be there at the right moment, how hard is that to sort of pace yourself across the zone? I just worked out. I'm not going <laughs> to. Sometimes it works out. So. <laughs> we practiced it. Yeah, yeah. That's when we practice all the time. No, I, uh, <laughs> I, I was open at, at the beginning, like quickly. And then I. Like I said, I'm just looking. Lindy has unreal patience. Like, if he forced that there, Connor, I could see him waiting. Like, and if he grabbed that, we were in one. So, and where we got lucky, I think, is just that it was off a foot, off the post, and right on my stick. Like, like that's, but because Lindy doesn't force that puck, I think that's the play. Like, that's, that's the one that creates the goal. He easily could have thrown that to me and hoped it worked out. And I think the puck was even rolling when he had it. It just kind of rolled the whole way. And, uh, you know, that was, you know, that's all him. At least, did you intentionally try to direct the puck on net with your foot there? Uh, yes. What's your yes, the reaction? I saw the puck was coming in air. I just tried to either knock it down or whatever. I don't think I tried to kick it, but yeah, it worked out very luckily. And JT, just the emotional swing of being critical of yourself for the goal with 38 seconds to go in game four and then to have sort of this moment... Uh, raising your arm in the whole building, celebrating with 32 seconds left in Game 5. I mean, is that what it's all about? Is that just a, a blast to be able to overcome that and enjoy this moment? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just, that's the, it doesn't always work like that. Like, it's just being, it's, it's impossible to be even kill all the time. But this is why, 
you know, I would tell a younger version of myself of it's not the end of the world the other night. And it's certainly now not, I'm not on top of the world either. Like we got a game to play still. And uh, it's those moments where you can let it ruin you. You can break, break you down. And today you can let it get too high and I can have a bad start next game. But I think our team's done a good job of earning the day. We've been saying that at nauseum this year, but I think it's been a great representation of the way our team plays. And um, it's a good example. I mean, went south the other night, went well tonight. You gotta move on no matter what. Couple for JT. Um, first off, do you recall scoring a bigger goal? Nope. I uh, hit a post once in overtime in the playoffs. That was about as close as I've been to a, you know, a big one. But I mean, that was. Uh, it's funny how it works. Like like you said, I think Lindy Lindy creates the whole play. He could have forced it, but he threw it at the net at the right time. Rick was talking previously about you know the previous game and the passengers and all that. But your bottom six tonight, particularly particularly Dia Giuseppe's line. Um, what type of boost did that give you guys watching those guys go out there and just give it everything they got? Well, he's got the baby legs. It's a real thing. And uh, I swear, it's a real thing. I swear I've seen it like a lot now where guys come in and play their best game. It does something to you or your brain, and he was unbelievable. That line just created a lot of energy, and I thought it's a, it's a contagious thing when our team skates and we create stalls in the forecheck. It seems like we do it for the next 10 minutes every time. Like It's contagious in our lineup, and they did a hell of a job tonight of drive and play and creating long shifts and then all they have is to punch out and we get to go right back down their throat. I mean, it's, it happens a lot like that for us. So when we, when we skate and their line was a big part of that, you know, we're hard, hard to handle as a group. JT, from your breakouts tonight, the PK going 0 for 5, only allowing three shots. Uh, was that as close to an A game that you guys have played in a long time? Oh, I don't know. But we, uh, Everything the 200 foot games just tied together, and it's hard to tell where it starts. But when we all work back to the puck and outman them, so we can break out clean, it allows us to break the puck out better, forecheck better. You know, it's just you know we've proven when we work back together and stay connected. I thought they they did that to us a little bit last game, where they made us look poor on our forecheck because they worked hard to come back, and I think that we did that a little bit to them today. You guys haven't lost consecutive games since March 23rd and 25th. I know it's just a statistic, but. You know, you guys, your resiliency is amazing. Is it just just another example tonight? I mean, you haven't lost two straight in a long time. Yeah, I think it shows a strength of our team um, that we can bounce back. But um, we don't think of the past, what we've done. It's uh, a new game on Saturday. We uh, we're in the, got a good chance to win the series, but we know it's not going to be easy. JT, you talked about uh, the baby legs. Um, Susie scores the other goal. Uh, the tying goal tonight. Uh, can you talk about what he means to this lineup and what it meant to uh, get him back in today? Yeah, I mean, he's done an unreal job. He kind of, he just defends so well. You know, it's nice to see him chip in on offense, but, you know, he's been, uh, with him and Mize and I have spent a lot of time on the ice together uh, this series, and uh, he just creates havoc in, in, in a good way for us, like uh, in the D zone. He's got a super long reach, and he's not afraid to hit guys, and he's He's just a good defenseman, like, and he's got that ability to chip in every once in a while offensively, which is awesome. And um, happy he got rewarded in the Ozone tonight. Can you guys talk about the uh, penalty kill tonight? Being able to uh, shut down uh, that penalty kill is a uh, five times bit of a feat there. Yeah, uh, we're, we're we're happy with that. Uh, I mean, they got a lot of good players. Definitely a good power play. Uh, we talked about being uh, uh, not showing too much respect in terms of. When we can put pressure on them, put pressure on them. Uh, we did a good job today, but um, they look at video. We got to look at video and see what we can do better. Uh, PD, did you get any explanation on your uh, penalty that you got? No. 